<laughs> you feel better? Oh, he's walking up out of the way. I don't think I've ever seen a swan walk before. Where did he go? Good out, Bailey. I want to discuss some things. I don't think we're going to play with the swan today. I want to talk about living with a dog, communicating with a dog, and dog training. I'm out walking Bailey, so I'm not really training her, but she's reactive, so I am going to train her. But the same things I'll do with her, I'll do with other dogs, because it's about a relationship. And if I get upset, I get upset. Huh, Bailey? But that's why I re reward for appreciation, and I'll say thank you. Because the more I say things that I like... And knowing what's going to upset me, knowing your limitations, knowing things that excite you, teaching a dog to actually just want to be around you, whether you're training or not. Obedience should not be the main form of training. Huh, Bailey? Thank you. I can make her sit and stay and all the other stuff. But is that really part of my relationship with the dog? That I come to go see every single day that some days she's excited to see me and some days she's not. Am I supposed to be excited for her all the time? No, this is our normal thing. And I'm not going to sit here and do obedience about it all the time. Thank you, Bailey. But I am going to make sure she has a happier day for the hour we spend. Granted, we're not living together. Yeah, my dogs... Well, they're across the street right now. You think they're not watching what I'm doing? How I'm interacting with her? If I act differently with her than I do with my own dogs? And yes, personalities always change. She's different than Belle and Blue. Belle loves to play and cuddle. Blue loves to play, then cuddle. And he's crazy about playing. But he also gets frustrated a lot faster. Belle sees that as well. My dogs will see that. They understand how we're playing with each other. They see if they want to be involved or not. That's why when we talk about doing a 10-day decompression period, it's not just so the stress levels can reduce, but so you can actually set them up for success. Why? Setting them up for success is so they can watch how you interact. Because if you have a dog and you're constantly at home, and you, everything's fine and dandy with you and the dog at home, but as soon as the kids come home, kid brings home a bunch of kids, Charles right in the fridge and you didn't go shopping that day. I don't have any food. Well, the dog sees you getting upset with those kids. And then you go right back and hang out with the other dog. Then you hang out with the dog. If your dog sees, and this happens a lot too, I see this with training where dogs have learned behaviors from other dogs. Like if you get a group of dogs that bark and your dog doesn't bark, you're giving the other dog's attention while they're barking. Your dog goes, hey... I'm going to start doing it to get attention too. Now your non-barker is a barker. Are you going to get frustrated at your own dog and not in front of everybody else? Or are you going to say, ooh, wait till you get home before I beat your ass? Sorry, that was reliving my childhood. Yeah, look up George Lopez where they, you know, you, you better not act out or I'm, you just wait till we get home. Ooh, you're lucky these cameras are on us. Ooh, just wait till we get home. Just kidding. Anyways. So relationship, Bailey and I are not out here just doing obedience. Obedience happens, obedience works, but it's living life because guess what? When she goes home, the stuff that I do has to transfer over to, to, to them. They come out to this, they live like six blocks away. So we gotta make, I gotta make sure that what I'm doing when I walk her is very similar to what happens when her parents take her. She's not doing obedience with them constantly. They're living life too. So what I do has to kind of mimic their lifestyle. But it has to be strong enough that if I need her to do stuff, she's going to do it. Hi, huh, Bailey? Where is he? Thank you, Bailey. That swan is not coming out. Oh, and there's a fluffy dress. Thank you, Bailey. Catch. Oh, that was not even close. 
So again, relationship, appreciation, reward what you want. Bailey seen me upset. The other day I almost got hit. The guy yells at me and I had to stand up for myself. She saw me get mad and guess what I did? I had to get right back in the car and guess who's sitting in the front seat? Blue got excited, so there was that excitement as well. Good girl. That doesn't mean I have to desensitize her and go, oh, it's okay, I'll never get upset again. Oh, I'm so sorry, I traumatized you. Let's try and fix this. I know that's not desensitizing, but that's what a lot of people do. Bailey, catch. Dog walking is not just about having fun. Fun is a big part of the relationship, but I'm not the one chasing the ball. I'm gonna have fun interacting with her, huh, Bailey? So if I have fun interacting with her, that's bonding. If she's stressed out and she's afraid of a dog and I cuddle down and she comes over next to me, that's bonding. That's, she feels safe, desensitizing will be a lot easier. I don't have to go out of my way to make sure she likes every dog because she doesn't. But she's learning that not all dogs are bad and I'm not gonna freak out if she gets upset over a dog. Does it take time? Yes, because, why? Because relationships take time. Just because we have fun and we can avoid all kinds of situations doesn't mean we have a great relationship. Dogs only associate you as one dimensional. Oh, I only have fun with this person. That doesn't help them in stressful times. Dogs trigger stack themselves. They'll see all kinds of different things. And yes, they'll turn away and say, oh, you're going to give me the ball. Oh, I avoided it. Let's play ball. Oh, let's play ball. That doesn't mean they're happy. That just means they know they can have some interaction with you. They yes, they're probably trusting you in that situation because you have something they really like. But if they learn that, hey, that's just a dog. I don't have to like it or dislike it. Dogs have to figure that out on themselves. We can't teach them that. We can teach them to be happy over stuff. We can teach them to be stressed out over stuff. We can teach them to be in, have high anxiety over stuff through intense play. We can teach them all kinds of things. But if you have a dog that actually you can teach to be calm around stuff, then when they go to get excited, they'll calm down a lot faster. And you'll be able to see it because you have a bunch more body language communication to work through thank you Bailey so relaxing is important when you do communication with your dog use it's okay to have all kinds of different motivation if I if I'm over here I've got a bad knee I had surgery on my knee last year I trip over this want to bet your butt I'm gonna cuss and get frustrated What she does, all I have to do, okay, let's say it happens. Ow, god damn it, shit, that hurt. Fuck. Sorry, Bailey. Did I scare you? I'm pretending I scared her. Yeah, I gotcha. I'm sorry. Ready? Ready to go play? Good, let's go. Communicate, talk to your dog, show them, it's okay to have emotions. I talk a lot. My problem with talking is anything will come out of my mouth. If I trip, you bet your butt I'm cussing. I think I did in this video, whoops. Thank you, Bailey. So, when you're dealing with the dog, be honest, have emotions. Yes, life, dogs will make our lives happier. We can make their lives a lot happier. But if you want a service dog, you want to help if you have panic attacks, anxiety attacks, and depression? I'm going to tell you this. A dog is not medicine. They are not medicine. They are a healing aid. They can help you heal and work through your depression. But that's only going to work if you have a relationship and you communicate with your dog. And I don't mean communicate by just sit, stay. Bailey, come. Bailey, leave it. Bailey, out. Bailey, no, don't do that. Bailey, what the fuck? Thank you. Yeah. Good girl. I teach the dogs if they're stressed, if they're stressed, stress happens, it happens. We'll work through it. You're allowed to have those emotions. I teach a dog that if I'm upset, it happens. We'll work through it. If it scares you, 
Yeah, I'll apologize. We'll stop. And we'll work through it. Not difficult. It doesn't take months and months and months. The only thing that takes months is whether or not the dog is going to feel safe with you. If they feel safe with you, they'll get over it faster. Anyways, that's my rant for now. This is Scott with Second and One Canine Life Coaching. Have a great day.